if you have a question in your brain yes should i start nutrition yes or no should i start should i start supplement nutrition so when should you answer your query as yes the logic is you have to support the nutrition if the patient has prolonged duration of starving or when you are anticipating that surgery that you might are doing will cause the patient what a phase of prolonged starving so what is that phase of or what is the duration so whenever you have a question that should you start the nutrition the next question is duration of duration of or you can say expected duration duration of lack of feed lack of feed duration of lack of feed or anticipated lack of feed or anticipated lack of feed if this is less than 7 days if this is less than 7 days answer is no if this is more than equal to 7 days the answer is yes the answer is that you need to start the nutrition then you need to start the nutrition if you got the answer is yes what is the next thing unless contraindicated you need to go for enteral so the very next question that you will ask to yourself is is enteral nutrition contraindicated is enteral nutrition contraindicated you can get two answers no it is not yes it is if it is contraindicated then the only solution that you have is parenteral nutrition parenteral nutrition when you talk about parenteral nutrition the next question that you need to ask you self is duration of support duration of support why duration of support is very important because we have two routes either the central venous route or the peripheral venous route what is the biggest drawback of peripheral venous route answer is severe thrombophlebitis severe thrombophlebitis because this is a high viscosity solution and which will burn down the vessel so that is why if the duration of support is less than 1 week you don't require support for more than 1 week you go for a ppn you go for a ppn peripheral parenteral nutrition if the duration of support required is more than 1 week it's better to go for a central venous route so you go for central venous route and hence you go for tpn tpn why this is so why this is so the big drawback of peripheral venous route nutrition so big drawback of peripheral vein peripheral venous route is intractable thrombophlebitis and a short life of one week so the first is short life short life of one week and the second is the second is come on tell me it is severe thrombophlebitis thrombophlebitis yes you are thinking right thrombophlebitis let us move forward now when we have the answer as no you don't have any contraindication to the enteral feed then the answer to your question is that yes you will start enteral nutrition now when you talk about enteral nutrition again the question is what is the duration of support you required yes or no duration duration of support required duration of support required if you talk about duration of support now what is important here less than 4 weeks or more than 4 weeks less than 4 weeks or more than 4 weeks if the support is required for less than 4 weeks then it should be more temporary if the support is required for more than 4 weeks the support should be more permanent yes so if it is less than 4 weeks if it is less than 4 weeks you will ask yourself one more question what is the status of gastric emptying what is the status of gastric emptying gastric emptying the answer could be sir the gastric emptying is good if the gastric emptying is good the answer to your question is go for riles tube feed go for riles tube feed if the gastric emptying is good you go for riles tube feed why this gastric emptying is important because there is a high risk of aspiration pneumonitis in case if the gastric emptying is not good 
so if the gastric emptying is poor if the gastric emptying is poor then you plan what nj feed then you plan nj feed so we have this and we have this so rt feed nj feed rt feed nj feed let us talk about one more thing why we are talking about this rt feed and nj feed because we have a risk of aspiration pneumonitis risk of aspiration pneumonitis and this is known as meldensil mendelsohn syndrome so risk of aspiration pneumonitis and this is what is known as mendelsohn mendelsohn's syndrome mendelsohn's syndrome now if you talk about the concept of more than 4 weeks if the duration of support required is more than 4 weeks imagine if there is a rails tube inside the what nasal cavity for more than 4 weeks first of all it will cause what turbinate damage it will damage the mucosa it will also get fibros in the esophagus so taking out the esophagus taking out the rails tube will be what very difficult and also the damage that it will cause to the mucus nasal mucosa will be fairly enough so for more than 4 weeks we don't go for this rather we plan something more 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 sincere what is that again you ask yourself the concept of gastric emptying gastric emptying if the gastric emptying of the patient is good then you go for feeding gastrostomy feeding gastrostomy if the gastric emptying of the patient is poor if the gastric emptying of the patient is poor yes or no we will go for feeding jejunostomy feeding jejunostomy fj and fg fg and fg we'll discuss about these techniques later but yes this is the overview of what we have seen that if we talk about the concept of nutrition the first thing that is important is duration of lack of feed or anticipated lack of feed if it is more than 7 or 7 days then only we will start with the nutrition the next thing is you need to check whether the enteral is contraindicated or no if it is yes then you support it with parenteral nutrition if it is no then you support it with enteral nutrition enteral nutrition is further decided on the basis of the duration of support that you require whether the support that you require is for less than 7 uh, less than 4 weeks or whether the support that you require is for more than 4 weeks if less than 4 weeks yes you need to check the gastric emptying if the gastric emptying is good you go for rails to feeding else you go for a endoscopic nasal jejunostomy nasal jejunostomy